Netflix is back with another home tour today. We are in District 19. This is the Singkang area. We are showing you a five room, 112 square meter, nicely renovated into a modern Victorian style. We are also walking distance to the Farmway LRT station. This is one of the best area to be staying in Singkang and we are in the Anchorville Cove. So follow the BB team as we bring you on this home tour. Let's go. Welcome! So remember to stay tuned to the end of the home tour because we'll be sharing with you 5 BB Reno ideas that you can have for this home. So this project is called Anchorville Cove. We are located in the Anchorville Crescent, which is fully sheltered to the Farmway LRT station, which is served by the Sengkang West Loop. The lease year started in 2015, which means that you have a good balanced lease of 92 over years. This entire estate is made up of 10 different blocks, made up of 3, 4 and 5 rooms. And where we are today, this is in 335A. We are showing you a 5 room, 112 square meter from the mid to high level. So this particular 5 room is 112 square meter. You have a foyer, a living, dining, as well as an enclosed kitchen, service yard, together with a home shelter. All in all, you have 3 bed, 2 bath. So now I'm going to touch on the BB location analysis. So there are several factors why we think that this particular estate in Anchorville Cove is one of the best estates to stay in in Sengkang. So for parents who are looking to enroll your kids into the school nearby, you have Nanchao Primary within 1 km. Other options, you have Springdale Primary as well as Anchor Green Primary School. And for yourself, if you are driving, we are fully sheltered to the multi-storey car park in Block 334. If you are going to the expressway, just take on the Anchorville Street, make a left turn to Sengkang East Road and that will get you to to TPE towards the east and also SLE towards the other side. Where we are right across, you have Anchorville Parkville, Sengkang Riverside Park. We are just walking distance to the sports centre at Sengkang Swimming Complex. We are fully sheltered to the Farmway LRT station, which is only just two stops away to Sengkang MRT station. And there is where you can find Compass One, Kopitiam Square, there is also Sengkang Community Club, and that's where you can find the Polyclinic, Sing Post. We are also very closely situated to the Sengkang General Hospital. <music> the home tour at the main door area. Usually when you step in from the main door, you'll be greeted into your actual living hall itself. So what the owners have did is that they built this stretch of foyer which acts like a shoe carpentry for them. A uh, Lots of storage space to put all the family shoes. This is where you can find the DB box. So I think this is a very nice corner, very exclusive. As we head on to the main living area, they also added a Korean kind of door so that it partitions out the whole living hall from the main foyer. So if you were to take a look at the whole home, we have a very generous, spacious, squarish kind of concept here in the living hall. We have all the Victorian sound all around, which I entirely love it because it's very wide, it makes the whole place look really bright and classy. So they have built in a TV console at this corner here. At the back is where they mount on their TV. So you can see here, they put a good distance towards the sofa area. You have your dining right at the corner. Orientation-wise, we are facing towards the Anchorville Park Vale. And because we are more on a mid to high level, you actually do get some greenery on the right side as well as on the left side that is where you can find Sengkang Riverside Park. So dining area wise they have fitted in all these lightings you can fit in perhaps a six to eight seater if you want a more longish kind of a table you can just tweak the orientation around. For the renovation done the tiles wise they are all homogeneous tiling they also fitted in an AC in the living hall so you probably just want to change out if you are a new homeowner here. Just to touch on some of the reno that they have done, I like that how it's all inconsistent with the entire theme of the home. We are looking at a commercial type of stove. So look at the details that you have in the carbon trees. Over here, you have a long stretch of countertop. This one, I would say, is a quartz type. Very wide, still in good condition. Top and bottom, you have some cabinet trees. And on the other side, they have a dedicated fridge area. Sometimes it's good that they don't have any built-in so that you can easily change out the kind of size and 
fridge that you want to fit in. Uh, currently here, this is the industrial fridge. So you probably want to add on a bit on your own panel and then probably change it into your preference. Behind me is where you can find the service yard. To have more than enough storage to put in your washer, your dryer, there is also auto rack system. Behind there is where you can find a heater that supplies to the entire home as well. If you are looking for the 5 room in the Anchorville region, we do have a few projects to look out. Anchorville Parkville, that TOP in 2017, you have the options of having the 5 room at $680,000 all the way to $780,000. Right across Farmway LRT Station, you have Anchorville Horizon, that TOP in 2015, the asking price is about $800,000 to $820,000. Right opposite, you have Anchorville Harvest, TOP in the same year, the 5 rooms are asking at $630,000 to $700,000. $10,000. Last but not least, you have Anchorville House. The five rooms are asking at $695,000 to $698,000. If you are looking to stay somewhere nearer to the MRT station, you have Compassville Mask, POP in 2017. You have an asking price of $790,000 to $828,000. Closer to the TPE site, you have Compassville Boardwalk, that TOP in 2016. The five rooms are asking at a range of $640,000 all the way to to $728,000. Just beside it, you also have Compassville Cake, a debt TOP in 2017. The five rooms are asking at $635,000 all the way to $758,000. So if you're looking for a five room near most of the amenities, our unit is only asking for $730,000. So our unit is asking at $730,000, assuming there is no cash over valuation. If you're taking a HDB loan, you need to take into account 15% in terms of CPF or cash, that brings you to $109,500. 85% will be in terms of loan, that brings you to $620,500. Not forgetting your buyer stamp duty, that comes up to $16,500. Assuming you are taking a 25 years loan, 2.6% for the HDB interest rate, that brings our monthly mortgage to $2,800. Assuming you and your spouse are now below 35 years old, both of you are earning $5,000 each. That will fulfill your 85% loan for HLE. That brings your OA contribution to $1,150 per month for each person. If we were to minus your OA contribution for the monthly mortgage, that brings your total cash outlay to only $515 a month. If you are looking at a 5 room, you have a HDB resale grant of $40,000. If you are staying near your parents or your kids, there is a proximity housing grant of $20,000 if you are staying within 4 kilometers to them. So this particular unit here is going to be very different from all the other levels because they have modified how it looks like in terms of the corridor. You have a small little foyer that doesn't come with the other unit. So we have a left and right bedrooms here. So this particular room can accommodate a single. You still have a study desk and at the side, you have an L-shaped corner here for all the wardrobe spaces. So right opposite, you have the second bedrooms. Even though they have restructured the layout here, you still have a full flash of wardrobe spaces. You can accommodate a single bit here which is right at the window so it's allowing more on the cross ventilation you still have a small corner for study area or workstation so flooring wise has been nicely tiled with a parquet flooring throughout all the three bedrooms so right opposite is where you can find your first common bathroom there is a slant corner for the countertop over here you can find your WC your basin a plenty of storage spaces at the corner you have a wet area that is glassed up with a swing door behind you have a ventilation window to allow all the moist to be dispelled. So last but not least is the master bedroom. a look at the sheer size over here. I love how the whole design is inconsistent with a modern Victorian theme. The good thing is that this is not a fixed structure here. So if you want to change the bed to a queen or a king, it doesn't affect your decision. You have more than enough space to fit in your baby cot or even a massage chair at this corner. Now let's talk about the last master ensuite. So design-wise, it's actually a duplicate from the common bathroom. The wall is also nicely tied up with porcelain so it's easy for maintenance. You have your WC and your baby scene can all be found inside and a nice dedicated wash wet area. 
So this is the first BB Rhino idea for you. In any case that you don't need such a big living hall, what you can do is to switch out to a smaller sofa, reduce the distance to the TV console. The second BB Rhino idea for you is to switch out this area into your dining space so that you can accommodate a long stretch of a six to eight seater kind of a table. The third BB Rhino idea for you is that now that the dining set is at the back, you can convert this into like a dry kitchen concept. Now for the fourth BB Rhino idea. So because they have an industrial cooker, if you want to convert the cooker back into where the countertop is, you have some space over here to duplicate the countertop to the other side, have your stove around here. Last but not least, you have your fifth BB Reno idea to watch a Netflix. You can definitely mount a TV here and then redesign this into a Scandinavian minimalist kind of design. We have come to the end of the home tour. Thank you for staying throughout with us. If you're looking for a five-room beautifully renovated and you enjoy this kind of modern Victorian style, this is under $800,000. If you want to arrange for a viewing, do contact our listing manager. The description is all down below in the box. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. Once again, my name is Jess Lee, Rubrics by Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. So right opposite, you have the second bedroom. So if you are a family with two kids, this is probably where you'll put your left kid and the right kid. <laughs> okay, 